back with another nail tutorial. This is going to be an a encapsulated uh, glitter design. Um, I'm going to be using clear tips and I'm going to be using a acrylic glitter and a uh, it's kind of like an iridescent shiny little plastic paper. Um, I got this in Mexico. It's called um, Ala de Angel. I don't know what it is, what it's called in English. But anyways, um, moving on. Um, I hope you guys like this setup because uh, due to my space in my workstation, this is the best angle I can get. But anyways, going into the video, here I am just removing the natural shine from the nail. Um, I'm using a sand band. Uh, fine grit make sure you are very uh, gentle you don't have to press very hard and make sure the speed on your drill is on low because you do not want to burn your client so just make sure to go all the way around and to get into those cuticle areas that this will really help the, the nail stick on and not lift and of course I remove any dust So I trimmed some of her nails because they were a little bit long and um, like I said, uh, we'll be using uh, clear nail tips for this look. Also just a tip when you are cutting the natural nail, um, as you can see I start from one side to the other, never in the center of the nail because that will crack and damage the nail bed. So here I'm just showing you guys the tips. I will be, I like to um, use my nail resin to glue them on and I just measure them one at a time and place them in that order. So here I'm just measuring them to her nail. I like my tips to go exactly from one side to the other side of the nail bed. If they, I rather them be too big and I can just, as you, um, as you can see, file the sides so they fit better than having a nail this too short. That's just my preference. So once I file them if they need to, um, I just go ahead and press them down on the nail. And I try to get it um, on the edge, of course. Um, if the client has short nails, you're gonna have to go up a little bit higher. Um, and that's about it, very easy, nothing hard yet. <laughs> Okay, so once I have all the nail tips placed, I am I like to use my nail forms to um, select a length. It also ensures that every nail is exactly the same size. So um, as you can see on my nail form, there's different lines and they all are for a different size. So um, once the client is satisfied and they pick how long their nails should be um i go ahead and start cutting them and i just use my nail form on every nail so that they're all exactly the same size Once I am done uh, trimming all the nails, I will grab my file and start filing. Um, right there, I was just pushing down on the sides of her nails just to remove her skin. Sometimes it becomes attached to the tip. And um, 
that makes it easier for me to fit the file in there so that I don't hurt the client. And then um, I always start from the sides. As you can see, uh, we're doing kind of a coffin shape. It's not very tapered, uh, so it just all do, it's all on preference. She didn't want hers to be too pointy at the end. So I'm just going in slowly, making sure to remove a little bit at a time. As you see, kind of go back and forth, check each side so they match. So I'll go ahead and go uh, and do all the sides of the nails. And then I turn the hand around and file the top to make them uh, very nice and square. Here I try to angle the camera so you can see better how I file the top of the nail. So as you see, I place the file, it's at an angle. So um, that helps so that it doesn't, sometimes when you file and you press down too hard, you end up making like a, uh, it looks like it turns the nail into like a U shape. So I like to um, angle my file so that that doesn't happen. Um, and I try not to push too hard on the file. And um, I just um, always make sure to check all the angles so they're nice and squared. And again, I'm just going to go in and remove the dust. I'm using um, OPI Bond-Aid to help clean the nail plates. Then of course I go in with my OPI Bond um, Primer and I make sure I put it all over the natural nail bed area. I'm trying not to touch the cuticle area because this is very strong. So here I am ready to apply the acrylic. It was from it's from the Organic Aqua collection, and the color is Regal. Uh, this product is available in Mexico. I don't know many distributors here that have it, but they are very cool. They're already pre-mixed with acrylic, and all the collections vary. But this one's kind of a very light uh, color with uh, little bits of glitter in, in there. Uh, this is like a purple shade that she picked so what I do is I pick up a small bead and I place it in the center of the nail and I kind of uh, fade out the end the the edges and then I with my brush the way I pick up the little um, pieces of it's, it's a plastic um, I don't know what it is but I pick it up and I just place it on top of the acrylic while it's still wet so that it will stick on. If the acrylic dries, they won't stick on very well. So make sure you work a little bit fast and if you need to, you can always put very, very, very little bit of the clear because we don't want the nails to be thick. So make sure you, you press it down very well and you use very little product. The more product you use, the bulkier and thicker the nails will be and you don't want that.
So once I was done applying the acrylic, I just want to show you guys here what it looks like. That's the colored acrylic with the little iridescent little pieces of plastic on top of them. Um, once you're done with that, um, you want to go in with your clear acrylic to encapsulate. So encapsulation basically means it's uh, designed within the acrylic. You encapsulate it with the clear acrylic. So here I am again. I pick up a bead and I start at the center of my nail. I try to do my encapsulations in a two to three big a bead method. So I'll place a pretty big size one in the center and I worked it all the way down to the tip. And then I'll place another one closer to the cuticle area. And then if I need to, I will place a third one. Make sure, like I've said before, that the acrylic does not touch the cuticle area go ahead and go in with the <clears throat> excuse me the tip of your brush to help um clean around the cuticle area and of course the center of the brush is really good to help flatten out the acrylic remember control your liquid to powder ratio so that you have best control of your acrylic and make sure you go all around and cover all the areas of the nail. Here I was done with the encapsulation and um, I know it's out of focus but I'm trying to show you guys what it looks like. This is before filing. As you can see it's just a very nice thin coat. So um, I'll go in with my file of course, file the sides, again push down, make sure that the skin is not attached to the acrylic and uh, you place your file in there and file. Uh, I always try to hold my file very nice and straight. That gives me straight lines. Make sure you control it. One hand will be doing the filing and the other hand is holding the finger and turning the finger. And of course, I flip the hand around and um, file the top. Now with my uh, metal drill bit, it's uh, fine. There's different sizes and I like to use the fine one. Um, I remove anything that might be underneath the nail. And uh, like always, I start around the cuticle area and I use the edge tip part area of the drill bit to go all the way around. Of course, <clears throat> be very careful. You don't want to cut your client. And then I go ahead and file the rest of the nail. As you see, I'm holding it flat against her nail bed. And that just helps so that it's very even and smooth all around. So it's really, really, really important that you learn how to use the tools so that you get the best outcome. So just practice without using, I mean, without the machine being on, just going around the cuticle area, getting comfortable, and then filing the rest of the nails so that you can be comfortable and have the best outcome.
So once I was done with the drill, I just go back in to do any small changes or fix anything that I'm still not happy with. And I just like always like to go back in and perfect everything. And um, once I am satisfied, I will get use my buffer and buff out the nails so they're very nice and soft and don't have any like ridges on them. I guess I start at the top and then I move to the sides and then the bottom of the nail. Once you're done buffing the nails, I remove any dust that might be left and with a um, lint-free uh, towel napkin, I uh, spray alcohol and clean the nails and make sure that they don't have any dust. And it also helps with the gel. Um, if there's any kind of oil or any, anything on the nail bed, the gel will not adhere properly. So you want to make sure that the nails are very nice and clean. And then this is what they look like before I apply the gel. Okay, so here I am use it, using Naked Seal. Uh, it is a UV gel. And uh, I go ahead and put a nice even coat all around the nail and also on the tip of the nail. And then I place them in the UV light for about four minutes. And then I will put cuticle oil around the cuticle area and um, that's it and she's ready to go. Okay, so this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. It's very pretty, very shiny, very glittery. Um, I absolutely love them. I hope you guys enjoyed them. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching.